Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I recently hit level 40 in Genshin Impact and uh, I figured I'd make my Kiching level 80 and her weapon as well. Now her artifacts from the last video did change a bunch because I did decide to go full critical rate critical damage. Uh, might as well showcase them now. I did get an amazing gladiator piece. This one's just a filler because it has 35% critical damage. Uh, and these three, pretty sure, are the same. Still need to work on the substats. Uh, the talents are just the same as well. I could not get the weekly resource for the from the wolf. So that might take a while as well. A lot of the level 40 stuff take a lot of mora and a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of limitations to make you progress in the games, which is unfortunate. Uh, she is still Constellation Zero, so, you know. And uh, for this video, I'm just going to be running around and just fighting random monsters. Just so I can showcase her with uh, different resistances. As you can see, her criticals are doing up to like 5 to 6k, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, for this next boss, I am going to be using a superconduct uh, combo, so should be seeing better damage from that. Uh, I am use also using Amber and Jangling for the party boost for fire. I think it's like 25% for everybody, which is really nice. Uh, this team build I have right now is mainly just to focus on uh, Kaching's damage. Don't really rotate out. So it didn't actually do as much damage as I thought it would from the super conduct, but I guess that mage's defense is already really low. Uh, let's try another boss. We can do... I wish I still had these up. It would be really good for showcasing. I'll make sure to do that next week. Uh, we'll do the animal boss. Even though I don't think I can actually super conduct on this one. Pretty sure it's limited. Actually, this one is annoyingly far. We'll do the cryo boss. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I didn't actually test this before making the video. I assume it's gotta do the same damage as I did the uh, fighting the other boss. Oh, I don't have any stamina either, so I can't do my heart attacks. So as you can see, it still does 7,000 uh, with the elemental damage. So it's not completely useless from the Aquafavonia. Alright, well that was really good damage right there. A uh, nice little tip. When using Kaching and you want to do like really high burst damage, you can actually just throw her E ability and you can do a heart attack and they'll both like you basically do a triple really strong hit, which is really cool. Alright, uh We'll do the Electro boss for the last uh, showcase boss. Now I don't think I can actually kill this one in one rotation since I can't use my abilities. I'll give it a shot though. You can probably do even more damage if you uh, build your Chi Chi elemental, uh, elemental damage or elemental mastery. Oh, that was too early. Orders given. Orders received. 
Oh yeah, not even close. Oh, there you go, 6k, nice. That's that. It's gonna be a critical damage, critical racer from Kaching. If you guys do have any comments, just let me know and uh, I'll answer them. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you to the next one. Peace out. Bye.